Okay, here we are today. We're making our phone call. We got Dad. All right, we're at the Chain of Lake State Park, and uh, this is a fantastic place to visit. So we definitely want to get the grandkids up here. Uh, Dad's wearing the augmented reality uh, glasses, and I'm wearing the virtual reality glasses. And it's April. Okay. And, hey, what's that song you were just singing? I don't know. Come on, April showers. I don't know. Let's hear it. <laughs> Come on. I don't know. I don't <laughs> All right, well, hey, I'm going to read this for you real quick. Now, this is the sacred Native American beaver, all right? And the reason we, we wanted to photograph this today was because of, uh, in a sense, what's called the Cherokee Nation. All right, now remember, key is one of the key words in that phrase, that expression. And Cherokee is actually a, a type of a division of Unicode that uh, technology is manifesting at this time. So one of the things we do to talk about how sacred the land is, is to uh, introduce uh, various characters that are native to the land. Okay, so uh, hence uh, the term the beaver. And this month, April, is actually, especially April 21st, I know this, this part for a fact because that's my birthday coming up, uh, the beaver is the sacred animal totism of, of this time of year. Okay, and here uh, they, uh, at the Channel Lake State Park, they've authored some uh, script for us here to maybe read for you real quick. And I, I found it fascinating. Okay, and it says um, the beaver, all right, uh, a glossy tan to dark brown aquatic mammal that are up to three to four feet long, weigh between 30 and 70 pounds, and live up to 20 years of age. They live in what are called colonies with one or more groups to a lodge. A family usually consists of a mated pair and two sets of offspring. The first year of offspring are called kits, and the last year are called pups. They build burrows and above surface houses, which are made up of aspen, cottonwood, alders, and willow trees. These trees are also their main source of food. Beavers can stay underwater for up to 15 minutes at a time. Their nose and ears have valves inside which can close when they submerge underwater. The hair of their body traps air and surrounds the beaver with a blanket of air while he is swimming. So that, that's, that's pretty good authorship on this, uh, this animal. And uh, let, hey, let's go over some of the words that were chosen in this. Now, a glossy tan to brark, uh, brown aquatic mammal. Well, tan is where we get our word tanagram from in geometry. Um, also, uh, look at the word colonies, okay, and lodge. That's what we see now uh, in divisions of various fraternities uh, here in the community where people gather. Um, and it says a family consists of a mated pair and two sets of offspring. The first year are called kits. Well, look at that. Kits manifest the word ticks, as in not just like a tick you would get on your skin, but the tick of a clock or the tick of a, let's say a tic-tac-toe game, which is layered like a spreadsheet. And the last year are called pups. Now here, this is interesting too. They've, the author's chosen uh, these trees, aspen, cottonwood, alders, and willows. Now if we were to make a hand out of those trees, which trees often look like uh, a finger, you know, branching, well the will would be the thumb. We know that. Um, there would be, this, so this is just in a sense the four-fingered man, if you want to say that, or the invisible finger, because there's many other trees that are sacred. So there's a lot to be said about that, and I, I just find it amazing uh, that these valves can cover the ears and the nose, uh, so they could submerge for 15 minutes. So there's a quick tour. Let's take one more picture for you over here, and I think you'll enjoy seeing. So definitely stop on by.